time to catch a dude. I wonder if there's gonna be another timed event. He did it. This Get him. Head. I'm going to collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there. Oh, I guess I should go. Oh, we tricked you, little boy. Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught in our net. What a surprise. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? Uh... What are you doing in his cabin? Shall yeah. I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... No. Nope. Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. I don't know, I think what? I should have worn a but different suit. I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. Yeah, I just dropped my notebook. All of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. I don't know you about that. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Can I get his shoes? Can I just take his shoes? I'd like to see if they're his shoes. Oh. Oh, look at all the things I did. I feel so accomplished. Oh. See? He does think that. Now we have... Alright. I'm guessing it should put me in Scotland Yard. Yes. Oh. Uh, this one? telling me that's the new thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just walk in and assume that they expect me. Um, yep. Oh, this is the evidence room. Nice. Is there stuff in here? Oh, yes it is! Uh, yeah. These are the Look, there's this book. This tiny little knife. Used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Okay. A handkerchief with the initials J H M. It's pretty fancy for him. Hmm. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner. Can I highlight the inscription, I guess? Yeah. R. Dawson. Oh, we're gonna have to force feed it to him, is that it? To my friend. And partner, 1883. Dawson. 
Dawson. Hmm. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Da da da! Did I steal his ring? Sure did. Alright, so I've got the ring. Search archives. How do I do that? Is that here? Where are my archives? Okay. How about... That's all he had. Uh... Do I have to like go home to search them? These are the suspects' belongings. Seems kind of silly. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Uh. Locked. <laughs> How dare he lock it? Okay, morgue. Hello. Uh, should probably be waiting to talk to him until I look at some archives, but I don't know where they are. Does this notebook belong? Yes, but where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no, I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Milligan. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Milligan. Did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Doubt. <laughs> the police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Mm. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Alright, here we go. We're going through his head. Couldn't even tell that was a patch. I think I already missed something. His clothes are actually quite nice. Other than the patch. Oh, he's got a stain. Thin neck. How mean. He's very young. I don't think he's strong enough to have speared someone. Is he gonna go through it again for me? Oh! There you go. Expensive fabric. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? It's totally his dad. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing. Why wouldn't you just say that? Fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably hmm. your father. With your father gone, and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. 
I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. It's all just so that I can feel really yeah. smart and about telling people soon, exact man. stories Please about their let lives. Me go. I'm innocent. Wait, one thing. What's your shoe size? Oh, I completed something. Uh, who's John Hopley? Oh, it's him. I did that. Okay. Can I, like, investigate you some more? I want to look at your feet. Oh, they look pretty small. Alright. Uh, oh. Okay, so there's something else I can do with this mind map. Um... Notebook. Jack Harry was armed with his knife, but did not have time to use it. Uh... Notebook is bloodstained. I wonder if that goes together. It's gotta be someone stronger. Oh, sorry. Nebula. We need to find out whether an unskilled or untrained man could use a harpoon to kill a fully piercing body. Yes! Experimental time. Yes! Wait, what's happening there? New thing. Preparing a throwing thing. Okay. Uh, oh, walls are hard. Okay. Oh wow, okay, I'm really bad at that. Okay. Can I buzz it? No. Jerk. <laughs> okay, I did the evidence thing. Mr. Holmes. Like how they're just blocking. You look suspicious. Uh Oh, my archive. Alright. Uh, Baker Street. I think. of a neat loading screen. Okay. Uh, is this my archive? By any chance? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh. Wow. I didn't want to do that. This is where I keep my post. Stand. Oh, okay. Uh Rings engraving. That is Ooh, not maybe the that. I need. Oh. Dawson. The Dawson and Elegant Investment Fund, a regional banking institution became based in Cornwall, was declared bankrupt uh has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelling, uh, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He is last seen aboard his yacht Preparing for a departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Ooh. Now I begin to understand that young man's story. But I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. Excellent. Uh let's do the science stuff. It was over here. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Oh. Huh. Oh. Where's the science? Maybe I'll do it over here. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. <sighs> Where did I
Where's the chlorine stuff with the ring? Oh no, I think I lost out on something. This is where I keep my post. Uh, it's not disorienting at all. Uh, that's upsetting. Um, here uh, very upset now should have just done it I didn't want to tamper with my re evidence Ugh. what's in Spot of wailing, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment. It's something about you. The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself. It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slip some oh. pig's throats? Oh, God. No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Of course. Watson, of course you do. To our butcher friend in my chat. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. That way we can use the same ones without having to buy one. Excellent. Oh, look. Okay, uh, what if I now... Okay. Stop doing that. How about now? Alright, fine, I'll just go. Who needs that? I need to take a harpoon with me. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, go talk to him. Probably have to go talk to him anyway. Maybe I want to change that. I wonder if I can change my destination. Yeah, I want this one. He's reading Crime and Punishment. <laughs> Job, Holmes. I don't think I have anything extra here. Notebook, gardener, breaking attempts, pin to the wall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Breaking attempts were made in order to recover a notebook that has been lying on the pool of victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made those attempts. I don't really think he's guilty, though. Okay.
Alright. Oh, look at this. Alright. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, we just leave it open now. Anyone can tamper with the body. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Oh, good. It's gone. Uh... These footprint. All right. Now let's go. I guess to the whoa. Whoops. Butcher. Let's let's uh let's do this thing and then talk to the kid. Interesting. Okay, we'll see. Oh, ew. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna set up in the butchery. That's good. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To throw a harpoon. In a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment. Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise yet. <laughs> All right, here we go. For the mark in order to perform the most reliable. You should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. It's really hard, okay? Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should try to aim better. Nope. How did it go so low? Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay, so a bit higher than that. I guess he's getting better. Oh, almost there. All right. Oh my god, this is so hard. Nope, that was not hard enough. Holmes, you have to be stronger. Alright. Oh, shoo. I clicked way too soon. Right. We can do this. Oh, yeah, right through. Oh, that doesn't seem likely. And I'm still a grown this man. This is the best making... result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck if it was luck then it was a chance of a thousand that night well yes let us leave now all right but before we go i, I suppose i'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled very well but please hurry of course <laughs> that's funny uh all right Cool. I don't think that it's pin to the wall and strength requirement. Yeah. 
It requires a great amount of strength. Most possibility. Okay, so it does have both. Okay, that's fine. Uh, na 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 na. Okay, so I guess now. Um, let's go to Scotland Yard. Maybe talk to him again. Look at his face. Right. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. We got same evidence. So. Hey, kiddo. Let's talk about this. I know about your parents. Or at least your dad. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes. Dun dun dun. Who was my father? I am aware was? that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father Aww. was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Hmm. Oh, now he wants to look at the ship logs? I wanted to look at the ship logs before they were evidence. Just saying. Alright, let's just go. Oh man, if he had looked at them, then I would have had, like... would already be there. Oh, um... No, okay. He still hasn't taken the kid's boots. Oh, was I supposed to choose one of those? Oh well. 